let's look at this previous problem uh, from the topic heat and thermodynamics. It says there are three rods, all right. They're joined in this manner. Uh, all of them have the same material. They have the same cross-sectional area and are having the same length, right. You need to find the temperature at this junction, right, the temperature at this junction. Let the temperature at the junction be T and let's start as to what the concept will be, right. So just like, just like uh, a resistor, just like a resistor, if I put potential difference V1, V2, there is a current I which flows, right, which is given by this formula. If this is greater than this, then this will be V1 minus V2 by R. That is what your I will be, right. This is current. Similarly here, let me assume and uh, it's very much evident from the options also that T will be less than 90, right. Let's assume that your T is less than 90. So, if it is less than 90, there will be some heat current H which will flow in this direction, right, H1. There will be the heat, there will be some heat current H2 which will flow in this direction, right, from here to here. And there will be some heat current which will flow from here to here, assuming that this is greater than T, uh, greater than 0, right. So, uh, let this be H3. Very evidently you can say from here that H1 plus H2 should be equal to H3. Simple just, just the way you add currents, right. Now current is some potential difference by resistance, right. Here also, what is the potential difference here? What is the potential difference here? Here it is V1 minus V2. Here it is, here the potential difference is the difference of temperatures, right. So H1 is nothing but 90 minus T let the resistance of this rod, heat resistance of this rod be R1. Let the heat resistance of this rod be R2 and of this be R3, right. So this by R1 plus the same 90 minus T is present here also. So 90 minus T by R2 and H3 is nothing but the potential difference here is T minus 0 by R3, right. Now, now because all three rods are having the same material, the same cross-sectional area and the same uh, length, right, they are having the same length also, their R's will be same, right, their R will be same, why, because R is nothing but, if I have a rod of length L, cross-sectional area A, conductivity K, then R is equal to L by K A, it is already given that for each of these three, the L is the same, for each of these three, the cross-sectional area A is the same. For each of these three, the material is the same. If the material is the same, then that means K has to be same. All three parameters are same. That means the R is the same for both. So I can say R is the same for all the three for that matter. So R1 is equals to R3 is, uh, is equal to R3 is equal to R. Right. So I can replace all of them by R. 90 minus T by R plus 90 minus T by R is equals to T by R. So cutting the R's. You have 90 minus t plus 90 minus t which is 180 minus 2t is equals to t. So 3t is equals to 180 which means your t is equals to 60 degree Celsius. So the answer is option B.